fact that you got up this morning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Glory to right now. Yes. Be able to Thank you. get ready all by That's yourself. Right. That's right. That's right. Hey, Amen. Brush your teeth, call me there, take a shower. Get in your vehicle. Yes, Ride here. Amen. Yes, That's a blessing right here. Yes, because everyone's not able to do that. Yes, right. And if you live long enough, yes, sir. you truly understand what I'm That's talking right. about. Amen. It's a blessing anytime you can do all those things. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All by yourself, amen. amen. We just thank God again for His grace, for His mercy. Thank God for my little wife, amen. 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 We thank God for her. We thank God for all my yoga yes, brothers. God for you, man. Amen. Mama, amen. Brother Timberlake. Brother Hackney. Yes. Brother Dr. Cleveland. Yes. Brother Mallard. Brother Dr. Muller. Reverend Dr. Shea, amen. Reverend Galloway, not A.B., what you doing? Reverend <laughs> Galloway, pretending that he's A.B. over here. Amen, the new A.B. minister. Put him to work on it, I'll put him to work on it. Amen. Amen. Just pray with me just for a moment, amen. Amen. God, help me, Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the grace, for the mercy. Father, we indeed thank you for all things, God. We pray now, God, that the words of my mouth, God, yes, sir. All the meditation of my heart, all be acceptable in thy sight, God. We thank you right now for all in the sound of my voice. We pray again for our visitors, Lord God. Most importantly, Lord God, we pray that if there's one here today that has yet to personally confess you as the Lord and Savior. We ask now that that, that that lost soul come running. What must I do in order to be saved? And the answer is always the same. That you confess with your mouth. Believe in your heart. The Lord Jesus that God has indeed. Raise them from the dead, yes, thou sir. shalt be saved. Yes. Here's our prayer. We thank you now, God, thank you. and we bless you. For it's in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 We thank God for Reverend Maddox, uh, for the intercession of prayer. Of course, he did not know it, but he will know it now. He gave confirmation uh, in his prayer as to what we're going to speak about in just for a few minutes. Amen. This morning. Uh, he said in his prayer, uh, uh, he said it twice, probably remember saying it twice, he said it, he said it twice, he said, but the people of God, he said, we walk by faith, That's right. not by sight. That's right. We walk by faith That's right. and not by sight, amen? amen. That simply means that we, 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 we don't walk by the things that we see. That's right. Uh -huh. We walk by the things that we don't see. Because some things in life are not what they appear. That's right. That's not confusing words. That's a simple saying that we call things that are not as though they are. That's right. And it matters not where you are in life right now. Yes, sir. I submit to you that wherever you are in life right now, that you've come this far. That's right. By faith. Yes, sir. Now it might not be your own, it might be a mother's faith, right. or a grandmother's faith, yeah, or a stepmom's yeah, faith, yeah. or an auntie, or an uncle, but you came this far by faith, yeah. leaning on the Lord. Yeah. And believers, we know that we are to trust in His Holy Word because He never failed in right. yeah. yes, And because of that, Come on. Can't turn around. Come on, yes, sir. Come on. I come this far, y'all. I, I, I've come this far by faith. Can I get with me? Amen. Amen, somebody. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. It is the evidence of things not seen. Amen. The substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Let me, let me get on with the message here. Amen. For those who have your Bible, Bible, please stand with me just for a moment. I'm going to bounce around a little bit, but I will tie it off again. Amen. <laughs> bounce around just a little bit, but I'm going to tie it all together a little bit. Amen. Amen. In the book of Hebrews, very familiar passage, 11th chapter. 11th chapter. I'm going to read a couple of verses here. Get there, say amen. amen. Need a minute, say, hold on, preacher. Hold on, preacher. All right, amen. Praise God. I want everybody to be with me. I want to get ahead of everyone. 
Everybody ready? Amen. Hebrews 11 chapter. I'm going to begin reading for you here in verse number 1. The Apostle Paul said, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. It is the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtain a good reward. All right? Yes, Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. Amen. Kind of something like, let there be light. And it was so. And it was so. Amen. Amen. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Drop down to verse 6. He said, without this thing called faith, it is impossible to please him. But he that cometh to God, that E-T-H on come, means continue to come, so God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Amen. Amen. Turn over to Romans, the first chapter. Let's turn back to Romans, the first chapter. Amen. Amen. The Apostle Paul is still speaking. Romans, the first chapter. It's all about faith, amen. amen. So you leave today your faith off. If, you, if you're wavering in your faith, you leave today your faith should be reassured. Amen. 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 Paul said this in Romans, the first chapter. Verse number 17. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live. How? By faith. Amen, somebody. Turn over to Romans. Stay in Romans. Go over to the 10th chapter. Romans 10. This is all about faith. Let's get a little faith walk through the Bible right now. Romans, the 10th chapter. Verse 17. We told you what faith is. We told you that the just to live by faith. Now, how do we get this thing called faith? Paul said in Romans, the 10th chapter. Verse number 17. So then, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. So we, we're walking through the Bible just for a moment. Amen. Amen. Now, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. From, so faith coming by here, hearing by the word of God. You may, have, you may take your seat. Amen. 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 Now, do a back to Amen. Amen. Yeah. Second Corinthians. Amen. Five. Verse seven. Mm -hmm. One more for you. For we walk by faith. Amen. Not by sight. Second Corinthians. Five. Verse seven. Amen. 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 I want to speak very briefly from this subject. This far. Yes, sir. By faith. Amen. This far. By faith. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. I've come, I've come this far. This far. By faith. By faith. Amen. This far. By faith. By faith. Amen. This far. Yes, sir. By faith. Amen. As we pause to celebrate Black History Month, and we pause to recognize the many, many accomplishments and contributions of those of African-American descent to this great nation of ours, one does not need to go very far to realize that the mighty hand of God was at work in the lives of our brave ancestors who paved the way for those of African descent. Amen. From Africa through the Middle Passage on slave ships into slavery through Jim Crow. We can see the hand of God at work yes, sir. in a people. Amen? Amen? We exist today because of the sacrifices and contributions of those who endured slave ship. Yes. It is estimated during that time period over 125 million slaves died as a result of not being able to make it through the Middle Passage. So we, we endured slave ships, auction blocks. We exist today because of those who survived the scorching heat in the southern sun. 
We exist today as a result of those who work in the cotton and tobacco fields of Alabama and North Carolina and South Carolina. We exist today because of those who endured Southern plantation, those who endured Jim Crow and segregation, separate but unequal, from emancipation to liberation. We've come this far by faith. From jubilation to incorporation, we've come this far by faith. From slave ships to home ownership, we've come this far by faith. From sharecropping to mall hopping to all day shopping, we've come this far by faith. From the outhouse to the White House, we come this far right. by faith. By and reminded of the words of Reverend Dr. King, he said, I might not get there with you, right. but we as a people will get to the promised land. Right. In other words, Dr. King was saying, I might not be able to see it with my natural eyes. He said that longevity has its purpose. Yeah. He died at 39, but he said that he said he was comfortable with what he had done in his short 39 years. Some people live to be 39, 29. Some people live to be 89. But it's the quality of life and what one contributes to society that matters. He looked through the lens of faith and with his spiritual eyes. I see it, he said, I see a time when man will not be judged by the color of his skin or by the content of his character. We come this far by faith, my brothers and sisters. Now Webster's, Webster's Collegiate Dictionary defines the word faith as allegiance to duty or a person, belief and trust and loyalty to God. Mm -hmm. Firm belief in something for which there is no proof. Amen? Amen. Belief in something where there's no proof. In the FLRA class, I tell my class that the reason that it's hard for an unbeliever to follow Jesus or to believe what you and I are saying is because the stuff that we're saying is foolishness. Right. 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 We're trying to get sane-minded people, right. logical-minded people, to believe that we believe in a God that, that, that was born of a virgin, that came to this earth, taught 12 men for, 30, for three and a half years, went back and was crucified, was buried in the ground, on the third day he rose from the dead, and now he's interceding for us in heaven. That's foolishness to them. Why is it not foolishness, foolishness to you or to me? Because we walk by faith, not by sight. Were you there when Mary gave birth to Jesus? Were you there when they crucified Jesus? Were you there to look into the tomb um, after the third day? Then how is it that you believe that Jesus is the Christ? In and of yourself, you cannot even believe that, except by faith. Amen. Amen. Now, in the, the King James said, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of not, things not seen. The Amplified Bible says, Now faith is the assurance, the confirmation, the title deed of things we hope for being proof of things we do not see. A conviction of reality, faith perceiving as real fact what is revealed to the senses. It's calling things that are not as though they are. In the world we live in, seeing is believing. If I can't see it, I'm like unbelieving. But Jesus had a conversation with Thomas. He said that, Thomas, you believe because you see. Blessed is he that have believe it, that see it not. Amen? Amen? In the final analysis, my brothers and sisters, we are all believers of Jesus Christ if we have confessed with our mouth yes, and we believe in our heart that God has raised from the dead. We are called to walk by faith, yes. not by sight. Amen? Amen. Amen. In the 11th chapter of the book of Hebrews is often referred to as the faith chapter. Amen? And just a plug here, my class, my Wednesday night class, I'm going to give 
a, a dialogue on every faith character in the book of Hebrews. Well now. Well now. So I'm not going to talk about that today. Amen. 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 Paul, the apostle Paul, reminds us in that 11th chapter that the saints of old were able to accomplish great things based on their faith in God. He mentioned folks like Noah and Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and Joseph and Moses, just to name a few. Amen. Well, the thing about it, my brothers and sisters, is that in this particular passage of scripture, you don't see names like 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 many constants who kept a young boy named Bob Smith involved in youth church and Sunday school and the crusaders. You don't see that. The thing about that passage of scripture. You don't see the names of aunts and uncles and mothers yes, and fathers yes, and grandmothers yes, and stepmothers yes, and stepfathers. You don't see those names there. Those individuals who kept you and I yes, involved in the church yes, right. at a young age. Yes, that they trained us up in the way in which we should go. And now when we got old, we did not part from it, from the training. Pastor right. said they got a hook in you. Listen, the Holy Spirit has got a hook in you. Yeah, you might go left, you might go right, you might go backwards, but at the end of the day, yes, sir. Yes, sir. keep you in the way. Amen? Amen. 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 So we come this far by and we we come this far by faith. And we went around the room today and asked folks, how is that they how is that you got to this point? And people will reveal their story. And I guarantee you that will be someone in your past that you can attribute to the fact that you're even sitting That's right. here today. That's right. Amen. 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 You, however you came in today, my brothers and sisters, you may have come in down and out, but you come this far Amen. by faith. Amen. You may have come in doubting exactly what's going on in your life right now, but you come this far by faith. Yeah. I hear someone saying that my marriage is in trouble. Yes. But you come this far by faith. Amen. Someone may have been told you got two or three years to live, but you come this far by faith. Yes. And in fact, just as time, my brothers and sisters, that you and I can add our own verse to chapter 11, the chapter is not complete. That's right. Amen. You see, by faith, Abraham did this. By faith, Joseph did this. By faith, Sarah did this. By faith, Amen. Brandon did this. Amen. By faith, Mike did this. By faith, Ken did this. By faith, Clinton did this. Amen. You got to put your own verse there. Right. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. The writer of Hebrews, Paul, goes on to say that without this thing called faith, it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God. Yeah. Well. ETH, more than one. Come to God. Come to God when things are going bad in your yeah. life. Come to God before things go bad in your life. Amen? Amen. Amen. Oftentimes, my brothers and sisters, we, things go bad in our lives. And the first thing that the devil wants to do is isolate you yes. from your brothers and sisters in Christ. So the first thing you do, you stop coming to church. Oh, and the devil says, yeah, I got you now. Now I can isolate you. You stop calling folks. You okay. stop texting folks. You stop commuting. You want to isolate yourself. But the Bible says, forsake not the assembly of yourselves together. Because brothers and sisters in Christ should encourage you, love you, hug you, Amen. give you the strength to go home a little while long. Amen. And not be like the songwriter said that I went to my friends for consolation and I find them complaining too. If you got more problems than I got, I don't need to talk to you. <laughs> you can't console me. First of all, you're not going to listen because I'm going to be trying to tell you what's going on in my life. You'll be trying to tell me what's going on in your life and nobody is listening. Yeah. Amen. 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 Go to my friends for consolation and I find them complaining too. Amen. But the Lord will make a way. Yes, sir. Amen. Come out. Let me go on. Let me go on. The fact, of, the fact of the matter, my brothers and sisters, is that we are here today because of the blood, sweat, and tears of those who have gone on before us. Amen. We're here today because of those who 
who died in faith, not receiving the promise, Paul said, but have received them from afar off. He said, we are called to be a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, amen, a holy nation. We're remnants of a very proud people who led the world in mathematics and science. Yes, Kings and queens. Yes, yes. Young people, our young folks should know, our young ladies should know that they are princes. Yes. Queens and princes. Right. Amen. Wife tell you what I call my daughter. She's my princess. And Joshua is my princess. That's right. Queen, king, in training. Yes, sir. That's what we're called to do, to teach them. Amen. Amen. As we celebrate African American heritage, we need less, the Bible said, lest we forget. Let us not forget those who paved the way for us. Yes. Yes. Harriet Tubman, Frederick Douglass, yes. Sojourner of Truth, yes, Carter G. Woodson, yes. Malcolm, yes. Megger, yes. and Martin, who paved the way for us. We survived lynchings, yes. sit in, the water hole, yes. the dogs. Amen. We come this far. By faith. Yes, sir. And Paul, I mean, uh, the, the Bible tells us, Hear, O Israel, the Lord God is one God, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, oh, yes. with all thy soul, yes. with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day, and I'll be in thy heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. You shall talk of them when you sit down in thy house, when thou walketh in the way, when thou lies down, when thou rise up. Bind them for a sign upon thy hand, and they shall be as frontlet before thy eyes, and thou shalt write them upon the post of thy house. In other words, we are to tell them when we get up in the morning. Tell them at noontime. Talk to them at evening time. Tell them when they want to hear. Tell them when they don't want to hear. Tell them how great God is. We need to tell them that we come this far That's by right. faith. I know they don't want to hear it. That's right. I tell my children, I said, you don't understand. I said, and we get into uh, uh, heated debate sometimes. <coughs> That's right. yeah. But I said, y'all y'all don't understand. Because I have to, my own experience. I have to go with my own experience. Right. I am the grandson of a sharecropper. Uh -huh. And I know what sharecropping means. That's right. And I picked a couple bells, a couple pounds of cotton in my day. That's right. Amen. Amen. Sugar cane. I know about that. That's right. I know about stopping home. I know a little bit about not having indoor plumbing. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I'm saying, y'all got a little too easy. <laughs> I tell my kids. I said, if I could, my wife would tell you that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> easy. About the only time they call me Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm saying I would like just for I know I can't do this my but if I could, I would like to take my son, my daughter, and their whole generation Amen. and put them back on the farm. For, for two months. <laughs> No cell phone, no indoor plumbing, no thermostat to heat all your chocolates and have no heat. Amen. But I'm trying to tell them where I have come from. Amen. That I've come this far by faith. I know they don't want to hear it, but the Bible says we're supposed to tell them about our journey. To let them know how hard it was, at least for me, I can't speak for you. Amen. Coming up in the rural south. Amen. Amen. I know all about manual labor. And I know ever, 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 ever. And I do it again. Not in this lifetime. Amen. 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 So I'm 
I know, I know, you know, I'm looks 25 now, but no, no, no. And the pastor was like, I am not always the person. <laughs> Amen. Let me carry on. Amen. We're to tell our young people that they can be whatever they want to be. That's, right. yeah. That's encouragement. They can be whatever they want to be. Hello, not what you want them to be. That's right. Amen. Oh, man, somebody. Oh, y'all got quiet on that one. They can be whatever you want, whatever they want to be, not what you want them to be. Amen. Amen. But just encourage them that they can do all things Amen. through Christ. Amen. And the who give them the power. Amen. Right. The Bible tells me that the children of Israel were set free from bondage down in Egypt, that the Lord God led them by a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. And, Mo, and, then, and that Moses and the people, all they had to do was follow God. Amen. That's all they had to do, just follow God. Follow God day and night. Yes, Are you following God day and night? Yes, Amen. Well, my brothers and sisters, always, there, there's no longer a pillow cloud by day, but there's this thing called the Holy Spirit. Yes. Yes. Which Paul said in 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20 that, that it's in you. Yes, Amen. That is in you. And I believe that same, that, that Holy Spirit that is in you, that is in me, will lead me yeah. and guide me unto all truth. Yes, Why? Because God put it in me. Yes, Amen. We know all y'all got GPS on you. Got GPS on your car. Yeah. Got GPS on your phone. Amen. I had it out Friday. Go ahead, turn left yeah. and, and 20 feet. Turn, yes, turn right. You know, got it. Amen. So they got cars now, you need, they'll break for you. Yeah. They'll break before you break. Back up, parallel park. Yeah. Amen. How is that? That's technology. Now you know, if man is smart enough to make a car that will put on the brakes before you put on the brakes, don't you know that God that we serve can stop you from going to Yeah. If you listen, and if this car will stop, I, I, I think that's amazing. But I'm not going to get one. Uh, I believe it, but I ain't going to do it. Amen. But God is able to lead you, lead me, and guide me, and guide you in the way in which he will want us to go. Amen. Yeah. Let's cut it off. Let's turn it off. Override. Don't no, listen. Think about it. If I'm going down the road and, and I'm driving, turn right at the next intersection. Nah, I'm going to get down the road, what happened? Recalculate, recalculate, recalculate. Now, re recalculate the route. We recalculate our route on this journey called life so many times because we don't want to go the way that God wants us to go. And then I went down the road one time and said, make a U turn. Okay, you, okay, you do a U-turn, get back on the route. Yes, sir. Yeah. Somebody today needs to make a U-turn. That's right. Yeah. The Holy Spirit told you to go right, That's you went right. left. But the beauty of it all is that that, that, that GPS never stopped talking to you. That's right. Never, and God never yes, stopped right. talking to you. Right. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. He said, I never leave you, nor forsake you. Yes. I mean, we always, even when you have to do the U-turn. That's right. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. This, this device called the Holy Spirit. You, you can't buy it on eBay. You can't go down to Best Buy and get this device. You can't get it on Amazon Prime. You can only get it by believing in your heart, confessing with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and thou shalt be saved. Then he will insert that, that device inside of you that will lead you and guide you. Amen. Amen. The device is inside of you. My Bible goes on to tell me that after God delivered his people from bondage, and we all have been, we who have accepted Christ, have been delivered from bondage, uh -huh. set free. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Freeness of yeah. salvation. We've been set free to do what God has called us. You can't do anything. Imagine if, you're, if your legs and hands are tied. You don't have the freedom even to get up, to walk. 
to go. And God can't use anybody who's in bondage. Yes, Amen, somebody. The people began to murmur and complain. Sounds like God, God's people, right? Yes, sir. Yes. God is providing everything, and folks are murmuring. The people talking to Moses, we don't have nothing to eat. We don't have any water. It is best that we had died back in Egypt. They come out here in the wilderness to die. But you had come, we thought this far, yes. by faith, amen. Yes. And then God being who he is, God being the Jehovah Jireh, who is my provider, amen. they began to murmur against God instead of understanding that God would never leave them nor forsake them, amen. They began to murmur and complain. Instead of <laughs> complaining, they should have been saying that we come this far That's right. by faith, yes, sir. leaning on the Lord. Yes, sir. Trusting in his holy word through Moses, he has never failed us yet. Yes, sir. And for that reason, we should go and continue on by faith. Romans 1, 17. Mm -hmm. For the righteousness of God is real from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. By faith. How many of you know that whatsoever is not of faith is sin? Yes, sir. Romans 14, 23. As we move from faith to faith, we must always remember that we serve a God that is able to do anything yes, but fail. Right. We must constantly remind ourselves when we come this far by faith on the strength of our ancestors who always realize from whence cometh their help. All of our help <coughs> coming from the Lord. Yeah, right. Amen. 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 Therefore, from bondage down in Egypt to freedom and the promise, we come this far by faith. From slave ships to American citizenship, we come this far by faith. From the Emancipation Proclamation to voter registration, we come this far by faith. From the cotton fields and tobacco fields to the professional ball field, yes, sir. this far by faith. From Selma to Montgomery, this far by faith. Amen. From the back of the bus to only bus enterprise, Amen. this far by faith. From 131 Telegraph Road to Fred Lynn Middle to Freedom High School. Yeah. This far by faith. Yeah. On to 13111 Middleville Road. Yeah. This far yeah. by faith. Yeah. From Pastor Clark to Pastor Davis. This far by faith. From Pastor Tyler to Pastor Pratt. This far yeah. by faith. Yeah. From Pastor Ray to Pastor Ellis. Yeah, this far yeah. by faith. Well, Reverend Smith, you said you told us what faith is. You told us how to get it. You told us we should walk by faith and not by sight. Yes. The Bible tells us that we should confess with our mouth, Amen. believe in our heart, the Lord Jesus. I don't care how you came here today. Amen. I don't care what you came in today. That's right. You came here, hopefully, by faith. Amen. When you got up this morning and you started your vehicle, you didn't doubt that that car would turn off. Right. You came this far by faith. You got in the car, you went down the road, you came to a stop sign or a red light, you applied your brakes. You went that far by faith. You came on to the, to the place where the church meets. You came this far by faith. God is looking at how far you can come by faith. You may have come this morning in a Lexus. You came this far by faith. Or a BMW or a Mercedes. You came this far by faith. You may have come in a Ford F-150. You came this far by faith, amen. Yeah. You may have come, you may have come at a Lincoln Navigator, but you come this far by faith, amen. You may have come broken and discouraged, but I just stopped by to tell you, Potter wants to put you back together again. You may come in search of something, but you come this far by faith. You just can't put your finger on it. But there's a void in your life. Yes, Seem like things never line up. Oh, but you come this far yes, by faith. Yes. You may have come with doubt in That's your heart. Yes. But you come this far by faith. Yes. You can't put the, you if, if I offer them to you, Jesus, who is able yes. to restore a sense of direction yes, in your life. Yes. This faith that I speak of, you can receive today. All you have to do is believe on the one. Who got you That's this right. far? Come on, Pastor. By faith. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. I didn't say you need, I didn't say you come this far by faith on your own. That's right. Well, sir. I said you come this far 
by faith. Yeah. But rest assured, there was somebody behind that faith. Yeah. A crying yeah. mother, yeah. praying grandma, yeah. grandfather, yeah. auntie, yeah. or an uncle. But however you came, you came this far by faith. Let me give you a story, and we're done. And most folks understand, know this story. Peter was able to walk on the water uh -huh. unto Jesus. Yes, sir. When he focuses his eyes on the prize. Yes, sir. So he's looking at Jesus. The author and the finisher of his faith. And all was well as long as he looked at Jesus. Yes, but the Bible says Jesus and the word were one and the same. Yes, so as long as he looked at the word, on, everything was okay. Yes, sir. But as soon as he began to look at anything else That's but the word, he began to sink. Yes. Yes. And some folks in here today, you got water That's on right. your shoes. Oh. <laughs> You're sinking. Yes, but the beautiful thing about it is that Peter had the wherewithal to call out to Jesus. Yes, sir. He had an option. I can call out to Jesus, which yes, he did. He said, Lord, save me. Amen. So he could have called out to the brothers yes, in the boat, but he didn't do that. Because he realized that the one that was allowing him to do the impossible, yes, which is to walk on the water, yes, look at to him. Yes, yes sir. sir. The author and the finisher. Oh, now here's how, here's how, I don't know why God allows. This, this is how God strengthens our faith. You know how? He allows you to go through something that will strengthen your faith. Amen. And oftentimes that something is a trial or a tribulation. Yes, sir. Yes. To strengthen my faith. Yes, sir. And I'll tell one story and I'll leave you there. See, if you're in a situation that you can't pay your way out, mm -hmm. I'm about to say that will be happening. You can't, you can't pay your way out. There's nothing that you can do about that situation. Except leave it in God. Yes, sir. Leave it to God. Leave it to God. Amen. So, wow. I'm, I'm, I'm laying there at Walter Reed about two years ago, 18 months ago. And I'm watching.